What you guys got another TV box review here for you. This one is called the TX2R2 and we're going to take a look at that in this video. So let's get it out of the box and take a look at what you get for your money. Okay, so let's take a look at the specs for the Tanix TX2R2. Now this is an entry level TV box at around about 27 English pounds and also 35 American dollars. So the CPU is the RK3229 Cortex processor which runs at 2 gigahertz. The GPU has a Mali 450. The RAM has 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of ROM storage. Also the Android 6.0 on this one, Marshmallow. Uh, Wi-Fi and Ethernet on there as well. Also Bluetooth 2.1 and uh, the video codec is the H265 which means you can play 4K content on this uh, TV box. So inside the box you're going to get all your usual stuff which you normally get with TV boxes. You're going to get your user manual. This is a pretty sparse user manual. There's not much to it. There's only just one or two bits of paper here as you can see. Uh, it just tells you what to do and how to plug it in. Uh, but basically there is all the information you're going to get for this uh, TV box. Also you're going to get your uh, remote control. Now I prefer to use different remote controls to this one. This is just a standard remote control that will do all the functions that you want it to do, i.e. media, music, web and app. As you can see here you've got your volume and your navigation buttons and also you've got your navigation uh, menu button here home and return and so on. Now if you want to use a better remote control than this and I will show you the remote control I use on the screen right now uh, you can pick these up pretty cheap and also if you're into gaming on these Android TV boxes then you may want to use this controller that you see on the screen right now as well. Now also you're going to get your power brick this is for the UK so if you're living in Europe or across the pond uh, you will get a different type of power adapter for yours but this is for the UK as you can see here pretty standard stuff you're going to get yourself a HDMI cable and uh, this is a uh, pretty reasonable uh, length the same as the other ones really and uh, this is going to use to plug into the TV box to your TV. Now also you're going to get your TV box and we're going to take a look at that right now so here we have the actual T TX2 TV box as you can see here. Pretty nice little design, uh, very small and slim, uh, made of plastic. And of course uh, as you can see on this side we have our micro SD uh, card slot here which probably takes up to 128 gigabytes I would have thought. Two USB ports on this side, the AV input and also our SP diff uh, port there as well and our LAN port on here as well. It has Wi-Fi as well built into this and Bluetooth. You have your HDMI port on there as well and also your power port is on the back there as well. And that's pretty much it for the device itself. But on the bottom you can see here no ventilation holes here. There is a reset uh, hole there for resetting your TV box as well. So there's not much ventilation for this so maybe this thing runs really cool and we'll take a look at it in this video and we're going to be testing this up and giving it some benchmarks so look forward to that in a minute. So this is the desktop once you boot up your devices you've got your GUI interface here they have their own version of Kodi it's RKMC as you can see here which we'll take a look at a little bit later you have your Google Play Store where you can download all your applications um, games anything like that from the Google Play Store as long as you've got an account and they're free to set up and this will allow you to install all your programs and games onto your device. You've got YouTube here where you can uh, box here and also you've got File Explorer which is got a nice GUI interface to it which allows you to access uh, areas like internal flash, SD card, USB and uh, NetHood and stuff like that on the uh, File Explorer. So that's a very useful feature. Also they've got their own sort of GUI interface all set up here uh, from just a bland look. Also you've got your browser which is a, a Google so you've got your browser which is a, a Google Chrome. You've got your settings here and also your memory recycle, which I think is a really nice thing to have on the front because it allows you just to clear the memory uh, when you're using it, especially on small boxes that only have like two gigabytes of RAM and stuff like that, or one gigabyte of RAM. You've got your apps and also your settings. The settings here has also been uh, tricked out with their own sort of GUI, as you can see here. You've got your own sort of uh, settings, 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames uh, resolution, as you can see here. And uh, you've got your little button here, so you can do your factory reset and also your system update and app management and stuff like that. So the system update will allow you to update your system 
um, if you ever need to update the firmware and stuff like that you've also got your app management where you can uh, add and uninstall uh, programs from here if you want to now if there is sort of bloatware on here you can remove it from this location here if you wanted to and that will be very simple to do you just click on it and click uninstall so if you don't want this application you would just click uninstall and that will be that and you would free up uh, 46 megabytes of storage and you've got your developer mode there uh, this is a rooted device you do have root access on here now also we're just going to go into the apps here and take a look you've got apk installer this is quite nice because i like apks nowadays they're a lot more easier they seem to have been uh, advancing a lot more you've got the advanced app manager and also app installer and apks have sort of come along a long way uh, compared to kodi nowadays which i think a lot of people are moving away from kodi but as you can see here uh, we also have film on live TV. This lets you stream live TV. I'm not going to be sh showing you loads of uh, streaming, but basically this is where you can stream your uh, content here. Okay, so you've got uh, BBC, ITV, all your normal uh, channels here. So also, again, we also have Kodi add-on uh, downloader. You can see default Arab, also French, and also English and Spanish there. And this will allow you to download the add-ons and keep them updated and stuff like that. But it will overwrite and replace your settings, your personal settings and your other add-ons. So be very careful uh, when using that feature. Also, Mobdro is on there as well. And also you've got access to uh, Netflix and all those other ones as well. So let's first uh, take a quick look here. You've also got uh, New, uh, new cloud tv here as well which is like a chinese application you can uninstall some of these you may think they're sort of bloatware and stuff like that but i'll give you a quick show to see you show you what it looks like uh, you can see notice the copyright and uh, you go inside here and this gives you free premium tv also free channels here as well where you can click on this and it will load up and give you access to free channels so you can see here movies news sport entertainment and all that sort of good stuff loads of stuff on here just a word of warning if you're living in the U uk uh, some of this uh, is now illegal like sky sports and all that if you've not paid for it and you've not got a subscription and you're streaming through this it could be deemed illegal and you could be into trouble so just make sure that you uh, cover all bases if you are going to go down that road so let's take a look at also you got super user here uh, which gives you access to the root as well and uh got some other settings here we can take a look at this is this just a standard android uh, settings which every uh, tv box has and you can see here we've got all you got access to all these areas here as well and this is on every single tv box and i'm not going to go through all this but if you're familiar with android tv you'll pretty much know what that is there so let's move on to some uh, testing we can go into here and uh, we'll take a look at uh, some specs for the box and I'll just, this will just give me information about the TV box. As you can see, it's got the rock chip in it, and uh, the model is the TX2 and uh, Android. And also, it gives me the board number there. Installed uh, memory is 2 gigabytes, and also 16 gigabytes of ROM. Um, and you can see that we've got just a little bit of storage left, about 10 gigabytes, something like that, uh, left there. But it gives you information about the actual device. You can see about the CPU, rock chip RK3229. And you can see that is a 32-bit chip we got there and also it gives you four cores on there as well and uh, we'll look at the display here by clicking on display you can see screen resolution is 1280 by 720 and uh, you got the Mali 400 MP uh, on there for the GPU and uh, you can scroll through here and have a look at all this stuff you can check these out at any time these are free applications uh, going to Android here, you'll see it's running Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow and also it's a rooted device and the security patch on there is 2016-10-01. Uh, now we'll go and have a quick look at the thermals here. The thermals are 42.4 Celsius, which isn't too bad for a little TV box like that. It's not super powerful, uh, so the temperatures are pretty good. And uh, we'll take a look. At, you've got air screen here as well if you wanted to use that and also we've got some other bits and pieces here now you can also download loads of other stuff here but i'm just going to run some benchmarks now just to show you some benchmark scores don't expect them to be super high because this is a real cheap uh, low-end uh, tv box 
but not everyone's got loads of money to spend on TV boxes. So as you can see, the score here is 20,773, which isn't that high really, uh, but it's good enough to get you by to stream TV and stuff like that. So I'll quickly just do Geekbench for you and uh, we'll see what the score is on Geekbench. And I'm not expecting it to be super high, uh, but as you can see, single core, three, four, five, and also the multi-core is 806. Now also, we're gonna quickly take a look at their own Kodi here. It's not the latest version by the looks of it. It's an old Kodi uh, here, but also another thing to note that you have got some add-ons here, which you may want to look at Phoenix, stream all sources, salts and stuff like that on one channel. Remember, if you're in the UK guys and you're streaming from these uh, sites, these could be deemed illegal, so you've got to be very careful uh, when streaming from these things. If you're not familiar with the law, check it out in your own country. Anyway, let's take a look here at some uh, samples for videos. Jellyfish 60 uh, megabits per second, and uh, we're gonna take a look at that. As you can see, nice and smooth. Very good uh, smooth content play here for a tiny little TV box like this, which is only 27 pounds. Uh, and 35 dollars i think it is which is pretty affordable for most people so it's great for a little bedroom or a caravan or something like that if you're on holiday uh, let's take a look at a 4k sample here as you can see nice and smooth not bad i do like it and the color's really rich as well here i do like the quality of the picture and again i'll just do another sample here i'll do this uh sony one because everyone always asks for that one for some reason a little bit of a stutter at first but then it stabilizes it's okay i'll try and shift this along a little bit just to see what it's like when you drag uh, the bar across to see whether it catches up okay so you can see it's nice and smooth so i'll just quickly skip this here and there's a little stutter and then it sort of steadies down a little bit just to catch up so the chip can handle all that sort of stuff it's pretty good So what we'll do next is take a look at one more sample here. Let's have a look at the, let's go to Dubai, take a look at some Dubai sample here. And then we'll have probably one more. And that place is absolutely grown so fast, Dubai. Look at it, it's so, um, it's built everywhere. And that looks awesome. So let's just do one more sample. Um, probably go into Iceland and do this one here. This is another 4K sample. And I'll just play this one. And there we go. Give that a play. And that's a TS file, as you can see. A little bit of shutter in there on that one. A little bit of stutter. Now we can do also uh, content on YouTube. So I'll stream this uh, content down on YouTube. Now again, the thing to remember guys, this is not gonna download and stream content of 4K from YouTube. Uh, sometimes it's 1080, sometimes uh, it's 720. You need to check and I will show you, just to show you, but the picture quality looks nice and sharp. It does stream that down, but the reason probably why is because it's probably only 720p. Uh, As we click on high quality, here and you can see it will only allow you to stream at 720p on this TV box which is pretty much ample for most people. As you can see you can also uh, play games uh, on this TV box it won't play every single game out there but it does play a lot of games and I've played a few on the here myself and you can see this is Beach Buggy and it has no problems at all playing these. Now again uh, this is an entry level TV box and I think it's done pretty well in my personal opinion, even though it has pretty low scores, it seemed to uh, do everything I ask of it and it is only 27 pounds and also, uh, which is about 35 American dollars. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. I also wanna thank Banggood for sending this over for a review and I shall see you again for another product review or another tutorial shortly. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.